They come in, they're giggling, they're laughing. Yo. And there's just like a lot of kind of like giddy, intense energy. Coming from what? <laughs> and then the circle and their, their relationships with each other actually kind of like quiet something in them and allow them to be more present for each other. When we do circles here, before we do the circles, we sit down and like plan the opening ceremony. <laughs> my great hope is to laugh as much as I cry, to get my work done and try to love someone, and I have enough courage to accept the love in return. Maya Angelou. And in high school especially, like, we don't have enough, you know, connections with each other sometimes, you know, everybody just all focused on the work and, you know, stress at home and stuff like that. And circles create a space where people can talk about their feelings, about how they're doing home life. Now we will review our class values. The first one was being open. The other one is respect. We share our values to respect each other and stuff like that because, you know, we all are still humans and people get sensitive sometimes. So we're trying to make sure, you know, that everybody feels comfortable and doesn't get their feelings hurt. Okay, now we will share an object that relates to hope. I have my I Heart Being Black bracelet because um, I hope that everybody is proud of who they are. I got this play to win thing from a boyfriend. We exchange bands all the time. And this brings hope because, like, it just keeps me going. My mom made this uh, necklace for me, and it represents hope because she never had time to do anything for herself. They're being asked to be vulnerable to a group of people, which is kind of like antithetical to what it's like to be a teenager, which is what's the best way to hide right now. So the first thing that I do is I share as deeply as I possibly can. I feel like if I can share deeply and from my heart, and listen really attentively to other students. They're looking at me to see how I'm behaving. I have, you guys, you guys give me a lot of hope and stuff like that. So our advisory is like a family. I've been through police brutality, tragedies and stuff like that. And instead of me being depressed about life, I know I can come in and talk to my community. They understand. And most of the time, if it's something I'm going through, they've probably already been through it before. People be acting like they shy and stuff like that, you know. And like the icebreaker loses and you know, everybody up, you know, we all get in a good mood and then we're ready to talk. The wind comes and blows if you live in oh the wind comes and takes anyone whose shirt is black. The wind comes and takes anyone that likes to play basketball. Anybody who has headphones. Anybody that lives in East Oakland. If you're wearing shorts. The wind comes in. Blows if. You have on a pink shirt. I picked this talking piece. This show is hard, and we're all a strong community. It's kind of like step up, step back, because you know, I am stepping up by, you know, putting myself out there and being a facilitator. But I'm also like stepping back because I'm letting other people talk as well. What's good about being a teenager? You get more freedom now. You get to know people really deeply. If you look back on your childhood, you realize that there's certain things that you couldn't do when you were that age. You get the taste of being an adult. Man. So, yeah, you're like. <laughs> I mean, I find it balanced to be serious and be funny. If we're saying something that's, you know, sad, that just changes the whole direction of the circle. So, I mean, eventually somebody has to say something to make the circle, you know, bring back to life because if it's sad nobody's going to want to talk again and sort of like letting the circle alternate between serious and light we can laugh in certain moments we can allow this to become lighter so that we also stay more resilient in the circle and, and laughing with them is really important and it also shows i respect all of who they are what's hard about being a teenager something you just want to do stuff that you think you're ready for but then when really you're not and you just want to grow up too fast sometimes. When you're a child, you know how you're always so happy and stuff like that. Now you're a teenager and you know what stuff's happening in the world and like you feel sadder. I don't remember being happy. Like the closest time I remember that was when I was like six, so. 
the one thing I hate about being a teenager is like you can't be as happy as, as you were as a kid. I remember really wanting to leave home from really the time I was started high school. I had to just like sit with it and wait until I was old enough to leave the house, even though I wasn't necessarily ready. Well, I have more responsibilities now. Take care of my little brother and family members and everything. So. It's really harder now. You have to learn how to say things without getting in trouble or like the right way how to say it without like getting an attitude. Before I came to Midwest, oh, I didn't have no self-control. Like in class, I was a class clown, like, and I never listened to my teachers. And getting suspended, I never cared. And every time I got a phone call home, I used to lie and say, um, she lying, I never did that. When I'm in a circle, I feel opened up. The circles is a part of me treating people better because I see how people are when people open up and I see how they're treated and I know I wouldn't want nobody to treat me like that. They come into the room with nine years of experience of this is what kind of student I, I am. And I just think that's the power of a circle. You are exactly who you are as you are in relationships with your peers. Someone who she doesn't get to be most of the time. You can control yourself. You don't need nobody to tell you to stop. You know if you right or wrong. If you could change one thing about being a teenager, what would it be? Everyone should have a mentor, not only by your schoolwork, but like what goes on in your house. They're wondering why teenagers are like <laughs> becoming more and more obese, and it's because they don't feed us healthier foods. School should be more interactive, because the best way to learn is hands-on. They still see us like we're little kids, but they don't know what's going on in their minds. They don't know if we're maturing. Oh. What are the things teenagers can do to make a difference in their lives or others? Think about things twice before you do anything. That was my lesson learned. Because if I would have thought of that, about it um, the second time, I'd probably never been in the trouble I'm in. Don't be so negative. Once you're negative around people, like people get negative too. If you're positive, then everybody around you is going to be more positive, even if they're around, like, like their household is negative her ability to build relationships with her peers, to allow me to know her more deeply, to allow other people to help harness her energy of this is the kind of student I am. I think it's allowed her to stay here. So we're gonna do the closing ceremony. Um, Cause you have an opening one, so why not have a closing one? I mean, you know, like, you have to close it out with something, something good. This little basket is gonna go around. Mm -hmm. Everybody will pick a name. And then you say appreciation. I want to appreciate Alfredo, because you're hella nice. I appreciate Matthew. You're a good friend, and, and I know I can trust you with stuff. I want to appreciate you because you're really nice, and you're really fun to hang out with, and you did a good job leading this. I appreciate Sarah because this whole week and last week, Sarah's just been making me laugh, and um, like she just got a good like um, attitude and she's like so helpful. She helps me whenever I need help. I see her like a sister. I want to appreciate Pancho for staying strong after going through a lot and having to wear that and being under house arrest and not being able to go out. I want to appreciate you because on everything you do, you always give it like 120%. And, like you really just express yourself in everything you do. And <laughs> well, that's friends.